Many of the colonies of this planet here have been founded and built by misfits, rebels, rejects from their own societies, the transported criminals, and they've made good men in those new frontiers. But not all men are good men in a bad spot. When you open a new area, whether it's a new planet or a new continent, it takes tough men, men of strength and determination. Among the men of that type in any culture, many are rebels. They turn up in the criminal courts. Such men make fine colonists. But not all rebels are colonists, builders. A lot of them are just plain, lazy, sick-souled criminals. Now, Mars is a cold planet. It's nearly 50 million miles further from the sun than Earth. It gets proportionately less heat. Its air is thin and low in oxygen. Its water is scarce. It's not an easy place to live. Some men will live in unpleasant places by choice because they have this pioneering spirit or a sense of adventure. Other men have very little choice at all. When Robert Black was found guilty of the crime of armed robbery, the court gave him the usual choice. Fifteen years in prison or a permanent exile to Mars. The judge asked him which he preferred. I'll take Mars. It was so ordered. <laughs> I'll see Robert Black now. Morning, Mr. Jenner. Uh, what is it this time, Black? In trouble with the mine foreman again? No, not this time, but if he keeps pushing... Don't me. start that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Jenner. Now, look, Black, I'm supposed to be the colonial administrator here. Remember, I have work to do. Now, what's on your mind? I want to go home. Now, you're certainly welcome to. You know where your dormitory room is? Go ahead and go home. Why bother me with it? Oh, you know what I mean. I want to go back to Earth. Earth, that's impossible and you know it. You made your choice ten years ago. You wanted to be a free colonist instead of a prisoner, and you got what you wanted. Free? You call this free? I work my hands off clear to the elbows in those freezing coal mines. I work eight, ten hours a day for what? For a few lousy bucks? I work and I spend it. No place. I'd rather be in jail. No place to spend it. You seem to do a pretty good job getting rid of your paycheck in the bars in Marsport. Why not? What else is there to do with it? Black. A lot of men in your position have done something with it. They saved their money and bought a little treasure dome of their own. They got married and had kids and tried to make Mars port into a real city instead of drinking up every cent they've made. Me get married? <laughs> it's a laugh. None of the dames on Mars have anything to do with a con. Oh, you mean they won't have anything to do with you personally, don't you? Other convicts have done something with themselves here, but you haven't and you never will. You know why? You tell me. Because you can't change your way of thinking. You had to come here because you couldn't keep out of trouble, and you've made trouble for yourself and everybody else since you came. Drunken brawls, arguments with your foreman, everything. Someday you'll get in a real jam. Now, look, Mr. Jenner, I try to get along. Honest, I do. I just don't like being pushed, that's all. Oh, sure. Everybody picks on Mr. you. Mr. Jenner, I just can't take Mars anymore. Look at my fingers. They're always cold. My feet are always cold. I haven't been warm for one minute in the last ten years. They can't heat up their minds even because this stinking little planet's cold all the way through. Well, what do you want me to do? Move Mars closer to the sun just to please you? Look, Mr. Jenner, please. I'm serious. Send me back to Earth. I'll spend the rest of my time in prison there. I won't care, just so long as it's on Earth where it's warm. I just can't do that, Black. You had your chance to make your choice ten years ago, and you made it. Neither one of us can change that. Yeah, but it ain't fair. I'd have just five more years to do time if I'd taken a 15-year sentence, then I'd be free. The way it is, got to spend the rest of my life here. That ain't fair. I couldn't send you back if I wanted to. I'm just a civil service appointee, not a judge of the court. If you want to spend five years in jail, I can accommodate you right here on Mars. But I can't send you back to Earth. And 
That's fine. Well, Mr. Jenner. That's all, Black. Unless you have something else to see me about, please go. I'm busy. Look. All right. All right, if that's the way you're going to be. That's the way I'm going to be. Goodbye, Black. Goodbye. There are many men who can't take no for an answer. But they don't all have that characteristic in quite the same way. The pioneer, the scientist, these are men who can't take no for an answer, and they plow their way through to an answer that works. But uh, not all men are of that type. Bartender, give me another beer. Big shot. Wise guy. He don't worry about somebody freezing to death on his ball of ice. Not him. He can go home when he wants to. Uh, who's this shot? Hey, give me a glass of beer, bartender. Space service uniform. Wonder what he's doing in a cheap joint like this. Those guys usually have money to burn. Boy, beer is sure flat. Ah, it's just low pressure, does it? Takes all the fizz out of it. Oh, is that sure? Well, at least it's cold enough. Huh? Oh, yeah, everything's cold on Mars. You, uh, been in the service long? Oh, three years. This is my first Mars run. Thought I'd take a look at Mars port while they service my ship. Your ship? <laughs> you don't hardly look old enough to be the skipper of the spaceship. <laughs> That's what they all tell me. I may not be as old as you, old-timer, but it's still my ship. Old-timer. Right away, he starts riding the guy right off his land. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good. You know, a young fellow like you with a crew of ten under you? Oh, no, no, no. It's just the two of us, me and my navigator. We're giving the Skyfire its test run. Oh, huh? how can two men handle a spaceship? Hey, look, don't you watch the newscast, mister? Skyfire is one of the new models with the Mark Hein drive. Fastest spaceship ever built. I guess I'm a little behind the time. You drive, huh? That's right. Hottest little thing in the sky. Must not be as complicated as the old jobs if just two guys can run it. Well, I, I hate to admit it, but it doesn't take much training to run one. A baby could do it. Oh, man. Things sure have changed since the last time I was on a ship. Is that so? Now, how long has that been? Ten years. Been here on Mars for ten years. Yeah? Are you, um... Uh, I mean, are you... Convict? Oh, no, no, no. I come here my own free will. Got the old pioneer blood in me, I guess. But, uh, well, we don't usually talk about it very much. You know, out here, one fellow's as good as the next one if he behaves himself. Yeah, that's the way it should be, I guess. Ten years. Well, I guess you've been here long enough to get used to this light gravity, huh? Sure. Don't even notice it anymore. The trouble with being in the space service is that you never get used to any particular gravity. It might be ten Gs one minute and zero the next. <laughs> but you can get used to that eventually. I imagine you would my name's Bob, Bob Black. Oh, I'm pleased to meet you. Mine's Kai from Peter Kai. Hi. Are you uh, going to be here long? Oh, a couple of days. Skyfire will be ready to go in an hour or so, but my navigator's in the hospital for checkup. <laughs> Twisted his ankle getting off the ship. Oh, that's too bad. Hey, can I buy you a beer? We're both in. Uh, sure, sure, thanks. All uh, right, bartender, two more here. Say, uh, if you've been here ten years, you must know Marsport pretty well, huh? Yeah, pretty well. Well, look, there must be livelier places than this. Maybe you could tell me where to find a little excitement. Sure. I know a couple of places. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take you there myself. Ah, good enough. Come on, let's get out of here. We got far to go? No, about a quarter of a mile. Oh, I'll take a cab, man. I don't feel like walking that far in this cold, wearing an oxygen mask. Sure, we can pick one up. <laughs> Yeah, kid, you really hung one on last night. Oh. And where... Where am I? Open your eyes and look around. This ain't the good ship lollipop. Hey. Hey, we're aboard the Skyfire. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. How'd you get through the guards at the gate? Well, it wasn't easy, pal, but you helped. Now, you just lean back and relax. You're in no condition to try anything funny. Hey... 
Hey, that's my gun you got there. That's right. Earth. Beautiful, green, sunshiny, warm earth. I'm sick and tired of this freezing hellhole. You're going to take me home, buddy. Colonial Administration, Jenna speaking. Jenna, this is Colonel O'Neill, Space Service. Oh, yes, Colonel. What can I do for you? Well, something pretty serious has come up. Would you check your records on a man named Black? Robert Black? Well, I might not need to check them. I know the man personally. What's he done now? Well, I take it then you wouldn't be surprised if you were in trouble. Not in the least. Why? What happened? One of our spaceships was stolen early this morning. What? Well, how could a man steal a spaceship? A man couldn't steal one of the old kind. But this is a radically new type. Small, compact, and easy to operate. The almost as easy as stealing a car. And you think Black had something to do with it? Looks like it. He was the last one seen with Peter Carson and his fingerprints are on the ladder of the takeoff pit. We're questioning the guards now, but it looks as if Carson and Black took off in the sky fire together. Incredible. Who is Peter Carson, by the way? What am I young saying is? Pretty bright, but just a kid. Oh. Uh-huh. Got a funny streak in him, though. The psychologist should never have passed it. Still, I, I never thought he'd do anything like this. Uh, what do you mean? What's wrong with him? Well, he's a bit of a bracket. Likes to claim he's something he's not. I'm no psychologist, but I'd say that he's a compulsive liar. And the two of them stole a spaceship. Well, they ought to make a fine pair. Now, tell me, can Black navigate and operate a spaceship? Of course not. The only trip he ever made was ten years ago when the court sent him here. He doesn't know how to operate a spaceship. Then they'll make a fine pair, all right. How's that? Neither does Carson. Criminal in jail is more or less forced to admit that he did make some kind of a mistake. Curious thing is, if you uh, ask such a man uh, what mistake he made, he's apt to say something like, well, you see, I didn't see that cop that was hiding down there in the doorway. He views it as a mistake in procedure. He doesn't recognize that he was fundamentally wrong in trying to make a living that way. <laughs> sure outsmarted old smart boy generous. Just to show you, kid, you can't keep a good man down. Yeah, yeah, sure. Two hours, I'll be back home again. Back to nice, warm, comfortable earth. But, Black, I'm scared we're going to crack ah, up. shut up. Are you still trying to give me that phony line? I tell you, Black, I don't know anything about space. Don't give me that. We took off okay, didn't we? We're on course, aren't we? And you did all the plotting and the piloting, didn't you? I the... swear, all I know is what I read in the textbook of the academy. And I watched the captain take the ship to Mars. Any fool can take a spaceship off the ground, but it takes a trained pilot to land one. You've been giving me that stuff ever since we started. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't believe it. Please, Black, before it's too late, let me get on that radio and call the space service. They can get a ship up here. Shut up. That's what you like, ain't it? Get the space service up here? I see through your dodge, and I'm not buying it. I don't mind getting caught on Earth because they can't deport me twice. They'll put me in a nice, warm cell. They're not going to nab me up here and send me back to that frigid hell I just left, you understand? Sure, listen, shut up, listen, shut up, I said. I read over the pilot's manual. I read over the specifications on the ship. A baby could handle it. Remember? That's what you said. A baby could handle it. And you're right. I can land this thing myself. So don't give me any hooey about you not knowing how. Please, Black, we haven't got much time. Shut up. Please, Black, let me use the radio. Yeah, shut up. Shut up. All right, now that's better. Now let's get ready to land this crate. We've got less than two hours. John, I know, John. i got to do something. Sit back, John, and stay away from that radio. I'm going to call him. You can't stop me. Get away, I told you. Stupid, crazy little punk. Now i got to take this ship down by myself. Everything's okay. Just got to be calm, that's all. Check the time. Ah, that's good. Now, according to the radar map, I'm over Wyoming. No town around. Right smack in the middle of nowhere. Good. That means no cops. Now, check the time again. Don't rush it now. Check the instruments. All right. Velocity, direction. All okay. Time, ten seconds. Back there, boy. Nice, warm, green earth. No more cold red sand. Time. Five seconds to cut off. Three, two, one. Cut! Hey, we're still falling. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess 
I'm okay. Ship didn't fall more than 10 or 15 feet. What's that? Radiation detector. Fall must have broken the shielding around the atomic engine. I gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of that airlock and run. This radiation could kill me. Could kill me if I don't get out. Oh, no. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Administration, Jenna speaking. Uh, this is Colonel O'Neill, Mr. Kenner. I just got word from Earth that our two runaways have been found. You mean they actually made it to Earth? Well, it wasn't a good landing. The engines were cut off too soon, and the sky fire dropped about 15 feet, but that ship's pretty nearly foolproof. What happened? Our man Carson has a bullet in him. Doctor says in bad shape, but he'll live. And black. Funny thing. Sat the ship down in a desolate part of Wyoming. The fall shorted the radiation detector, and evidently black thought the ship was full of radiation. He got out fast, started running, and just kept running until he dropped. You mean he got away? Well, he didn't get far. It's January, you know, wintertime in Wyoming. He ran into the teeth of a howling blizzard at sub-zero temperatures. Yeah? Froze to death before they could reach him. of a man who wants to do things the quick, easy way. But he doesn't like to take the time and trouble to look up the data as to what's going to happen when he gets there. It would have been easy enough for Black to check and find out that it was winter on Earth. But you see, Mars doesn't have the same seasons Earth does. Mars' year is about twice as long as ours. I guess Black had sort of lost track of what it was like in Wyoming in January. 